Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video you are going to learn how to use the logging in Quarkus. You are going to see the log level, the console log, the file log and in the end the HTTP log. Let's start! I already have a simple Quarkus project where I can manage the movies. I can fetch all the movies inside the database, I can fetch the movie by ID, by title, I can create a movie and delete a movie by ID. Of course I have my movie entity with the title, description, director and the movie repository that is a panache repository. Inside the pomxml file I have all dependencies that I need, resteasy, resteasy jackson and postgres. In this video I'm going to use the postgres so I have inside the application properties all the properties to connect to the database and in this case I'm using the docker the postgres docker image very good the first thing they want to do is compile and run the project in development mode so type m1 compile quarkus dev very good my server is up and running and is sitting on the port 8080 and here I have all the dependencies now let's go inside the postman and just try it so let's uh, go in uh, get and type localhost 88 slash movies click on send very good 200 let's see the log we don't have any kind of log so the first thing that i want to do is to add some logging inside my project so go inside the movie resource and the first thing is to type private logger I'm going to use the logger as a name equal logger dot let's import it port class good and then type dot get logger and the class in this case movie resource dot class very good now let's go inside each method and type for example inside the get all type logger dot info and put like get all movies inside the database let's do the same also for the get by id so in the same way let's type logger dot info get the movie with the id and then let's put the id good let's do the same for the title in the same way so logger dot info get the movie with the title and then let's print the title let's copy let's put it there let's do the same for the country good and inside the create method here i can put two different log so let's put here logger.info and here i'm going to put like uh, saving movie inside the database and here I can log if I persistent the movie or not so logger.info and here I can put like the movie has been um, saved and let's print also the ID with ID and then let's put movie.getID otherwise let's put the logger.error in this case let's put like the movie has not been saved good last but not least the delete by d so delete by d uh, let's re re rewrite a little bit so let's type here logger.info so like deleting movie with the id and let's print the id as well 
and then let's write the if in order to print uh, the logger info otherwise the error so if uh, deleted in this case of course i'm going to return the response with uh, no content as a status code let's copy let's pa paste it here let's type return of course and before that let's print logger dot info uh, let's put like uh, the movie has been deleted good otherwise so i'm going to send a response with the status code bet request and here i'm going to put the logger dot error with the message the movie has not been deleted very good let's save now let's go inside postman let's try it again let's click on send let's wait because uh, there is the live reload in quarkus and you can see change source file detected very good so we need to wait okay 200 and then inside the log i can see my log get all movies inside the database very good it's working let's check all the methods so i get by id by title by country so here i'm going to put the id for example one get the movie with id one let's type let's try the title good get movie with the title then let's try with the country good get movie with country planet and then let's create a new movie so post i already have a simple json i miss just the title so let's type here title and then let's put here a uh, first movie good and let's try so click on send very good saving new movie inside the database and the movie has been saved with id one very good let's also try the delete let's put the id one click on send and then you can see let's try with a different id so the delete movie with id one and delete movie with id 10 very good now i have a lot of info and i want to use the debug in some uh, case for example here the debug i want to use not info of course here inside i get by title that dot debug and here dot debug so i will have only the info level when i'm saving or deleting a movie so let's try let's go inside the get let's try with get all movies click on send and here you can see that we don't have anymore the log get all movies inside database let's try also with the id get by id same we don't have any log if i try for example to create a new movie so post slash movies click on send here I will have the movie has been saved with ID2. Uh, let's also try with the delete slash ubuntu. And click on send. And here you can see the movie has been deleted. This is because we use a different uh, login level, the info and the debug. So how we can show also the debug in our case we can change the log level inside application.properties. So here we need to type quarkus.log.level. And instead of info, let's put debug. Let's save the file. And let's try it again. So with a get, get all movies. Let's wait. 
and here you can see a lot of log not only related to my our code but also related for example to hibernate or quarkus as you can see here the table references let's try for example to create the movie and here you can see also a lot of log and i can check mine yes get all movie inside the database because we put the debug now we have the debug log for everything let's try with uh, creating a new movie so here is the same let's wait created you can see a lot of log you can see also the query insert into movie and also the the value and of course uh, our custom log saving new movie inside the database very good now i don't want to do this i want to have the the bug log level only for my application and i want to have the info for hibernate i can do that with the category so let's type and you can see quarkus log leg category and inside the key we need to put the package of the category so in this case org.hibernate and the level i don't want to have a debug but info of course i'm going to leave here quarkus dot level debug and of course i'm going to type also my log level for my package and my package is org.js so dot level equal in this case debug because i put uh, inside uh, if you remember movie repository for example it's org.js so for that category we need to put the package let's try click on send let's wait okay and here you can see that we don't have any more the log for hibernate but we have of course our log and also other debug log other debug log level for example for quarkus now i don't want to do this i want to have only my as the bug so i'm going to put info as the quarkus log level and in this case i have only my log with a um, level debug and this one we can categorize as general log i can have also different properties for the console log for example i can disable the console log with the properties log.console.enable false and i can also uh, disable the color of the log so log.console.color false is the configuration for the console log let's try click on send very good and you can see here that we don't have any kind of log if we go back i can it's better if i reload again if i compile again in development mode and when I compile quarkus dev in this case you can exactly see what, what will happen very good so if i try to click on send you can see that i received the 200 and you can see any log at all because we disabled the log let's put right now true and leave the color false click on send and here you can see that we have the log but uh, we don't have any more the color i can also uh, disable the banner with the properties quarkus.banner.enable false let's click on send and here you can see that we don't have any more the banner so we have really really a row log let's put here false let's imagine now that you want to disable the console log but we want to have the log we can use the log inside the file so we can use the properties quarkus.log.file enable true and i can also decide the path 
of the log file with the properties file.path and in this case I'm going to put for example logs slash quarkus log I can also define the suffix of the log rotation for example so quarkus dot log dot file dot rotation file suffix and here I can put, I can put like the day the hour and not the second but I'm going to put the minute let's try click on send good and here you can see that we don't have any log and if I open inside the target folder you can see the quarkus.log with all our log very good now let's try it again click on send again reload the file and here you can see the log rotation with, the with our custom suffix very good then I can also enable the HTTP access log so we need to type qualcus.http.accesslog.enable true and if I click on send we don't have any log inside the console because we disabled but inside the quarkus.log we can see our access log get slash movies very good okay and these one are the http log we can call in this way so we saw the general log the console log the file log and http log you can see with quarkus is very easy to managing the logging the source code of this video you can find inside my github repository inside the project quarkus logging thank you for watching this video if you have any questions or doubts please don't hesitate to contact me you can find me on linkedin twitter and instagram and see you in the next video about quarkus bye